one. I'll just put that one on record. Oh, it's on record? Oh, no, it's on standby. You all right? Yeah. What am I saying? Sorry? I don't know what I'm saying, though. You're just going to say, hi, every... Hi, guys. I just... Uh, we're overcooking you everywhere, but... Ah. That's cool, I'm gonna use that as a start off. Yeah, it's recording. nice to know it's not just me who gets frustrated. You gonna start? Yeah. Hi guys. Oh my god, I sound like a vlogger. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, before uh, she starts, everyone is gonna see how horrible she's lit. What? Like this is terribly lit. Oh. But right. this is a problem people have when they're shooting full sun middle of the day. So we're doing a, a shoot for a folio today and we're shooting middle of the day, why, full sun. Why are you doing the introduction while I'm just, why you're just filming me standing here? Uh, I'm just trying to make you look really ugly. After the last video, everyone thought you looked pretty. <laughs> so I needed Not to bring everyone. you back to reality. Apparently I'm nothing special. Nothing special, apparently. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm gonna do is quickly show you while Beck is doing the introduction, I'm gonna move her so she has the most stunning light in the world. You All just right? kind of introduced everything, though. All right, well, you can start again then. No, no, it's fine. I, I'm happy to just... Let's just go. All right. Cool. So even if we go now, if Beck <laughs> takes a step back, and another step back, and another step back, if she keeps walking back far <laughs> enough, there's a big snake in there. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> Come on, back in there. I promise you, it's not a snake, it's a spider. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You need to keep, stop getting so scared. Keep going. All of a sudden, now that we've got her in there, you'll notice that she's dark as so. And this is really hard with my glasses. And let's get our exposure, which should be round about. So, yeah, about there. So we're at about f8, f9 before. Now we've come into. Oh, that's much prettier. Also, apologies for the background noise. There's someone like mashing up logs so I don't know if people can hear that from our microphones but apologies. We're at an abandoned golf course. Yes. Um, anyway <laughs> so you'll see just by me moving the direct down light off back and if we go in nice and close and she looks tight down the lens you'll see that catch light in her eye is all the bottom half of her eye that's what's coming off the sort of dried grass and giving that beautiful softness onto her. So with Maddie, am I allowed to call you Maddie? Yeah, cool. Cool. With Maddie, we've dropped her into the same sort of thing. The only thing is I've got a dapple light hitting her at the moment, which I'm going to have to move her a little bit. And it's just to take that dapple light off. But I'm using this, and it's going to overexpose as I come out. I'm using this area in front of them. You'll see where it's going off to light back into their face. So I'll give this back to Beck and exposure is now going to be completely shot out in the full sun. And you can do your thing and I'll do my thing. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention that we are also working with the awesome Brent today, who's done Maddie's hair and makeup. And yes, we are at an abandoned old golf course. Cool, so I'm, the sun's going to keep moving and I'm getting dapple in places I don't want it. So I want to get you to move across a fraction and one of the things that I can do is, if I look at the ground, I can actually see there's dapple here, but there's no dapple in there. Yeah, if you move back just a fraction, you don't have, um, yeah, see, I like him there, but there's more dapple. We might have to, I'll see if I can hook it. See if I can build something. No, it's not gonna hook. I might, I might just get, if you can just get there. Yeah, so say right? there's not much of the dapple light. And this is just the first place we're going to shoot. I'm going to move on to another spot a bit later. Now, I could have taken Maddie right back into the ferns, but then we would lose our beautiful bounce light and we wouldn't have that beautiful light on her skin. I'm shooting on the sunny today. I've got the 70 to 200. I'm pretty much shooting, I'm mostly shooting at about 190. I'm shooting at 160th of a second at 2.8 and I've got uh, eye detection turned on and I have got, beautiful, beautiful, um, it's set into a continuous shooting mode 
Cool, so when she nails something, I'm gonna roll off some shots and let her drift in. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. So as I see just individual frames, I take it. When I see her start to move a little bit and make herself feel a certain way, so I can, cool, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. It's stunning, it's stunning. I like that heaps. That's cool, that's really pretty. And we're not gonna sh shoot a lot in each location because with her experience and this gorgeous light we've got today, we're gonna move a little bit and move around fairly quick, cool. I wanna change the mood of fraction. Can you actually sit on your bum there? At the moment she's up on her knees, so it's very fashiony feeling. So I just wanted that to take it, bring it back a little bit more and I also wanted to get just the, the tops of these bit of grass overexposing in front of her, which are gonna create these little bokeh spots in the picture, that's really pretty. Thoughts, feelings, that's better. That's so much better, and you felt that, didn't you? Yeah, just drop in the eyes, feel it, yeah, that's really nice. There's a tiny bit of dapple hitting her face in certain spots, lean that way a little bit, that's it, cool, cool, that's beautiful. Cool, cool. I reckon we got it from this spot, I reckon we move. Mm -hmm. Boom. So we're just going to move to another little spot. Cool. All right, so I've found another spot. So we've got a nice covering tree. There is a little bit of dapple, which I'll have to play with. And I'll be working her in and out to get in some of this as bounce. So when she's right back in there, we're not getting a great deal of bounce. I'm just going to look into her eyes. We're pretty much, the catch light's running through the middle of her eyes. So, and as I bring her out, the catch light's gonna start running down lower. So as you walk out a little bit, this catch light's gonna start filling up underneath more and more. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. There, we're starting to get a glow there. So see the difference in the face there? And what I mean by, see how I'm casting an up shadow from my hand? And I want that, it's giving this beautiful warmth fill onto her face there. So that's what I'm looking at. I've Swapped my lens on, on one of my favourite portrait lenses, which is a, a little Zeiss 135 cool. f2, and I must always shoot it fully wide open because I really like the bokeh on this lens. And you're totally and overexposed just, now, sorry, Peter. Yeah, I'll be overexposed like crazy. Okay. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's going to be hard. <laughs> yeah. For the two. So Sorry. now I'm now onto manual focus lens. That's really pretty. The only thing I've got to watch is when that dapple comes onto a face, it's not super pretty. So I've just got to be careful. It's a tree branch moving, which is changing that core. Cool. Oh, that's really pretty. That's stunning. That's really, yeah, the dapple now is terrible. Take a, st what I normally do is I try and look where her head is. Just move your head back and forward. Right, so there's her head. I'm seeing where this dapple is appearing. So let's try and get her head so it ends up about there somewhere. So come and I'm more that way. That's it. So that should have pulled the dapple off her face. So I can just look at the ground and see where that is in relation. And I want to get a little bit more tree branch behind you. That's nice. Um, cool. Cool, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. All that feel. That's cool, 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 cool. Cool, that's stunning, 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 stunning. Now with this, it's not gonna change much no matter where I go, as long as I've got, cool, that beautiful up light coming into her face. It's just softening everything off completely. So my favorite time to shoot is middle of the day. So we're about 1.30 in the afternoon, but it's daylight savings time, which means it's really about 12 o'clock. So as long as I've got that sort of distance there, I can come right round this way and should be able to get the same sort of effect. Just got to watch your dapple a little bit more. About there's cool. That's really cool. Because I should be still getting enough bounce light off here. Cool. That's really pretty. That's stunning. In fact, I like this better because the bokeh in the background has gone absolutely stunning. Cool. Cool. Just going to sneak back a touch more. So one downside with primes is if I want to crop it a fraction more, I move because I don't actually like cropping in Photoshop. I prefer to crop in camera, because that's a shot that I'm seeing through the viewfinder. Cool, cool, cool. Give me some feeling. 
move. So you feel it. that's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> Might just come around and let's get a little bit of leaf in between. Oh, that's yeah. That's I'm just if you go back a fraction. Oh, yeah, back a fraction. I think about there. That's cool. So what I'm trying to do is get, I'm getting three layers in this picture now. So I've got a bokeh happening in front of her. Cool. And I'm just dropping these bokeh dots in between. That's so pretty. Cool, cool, cool. That's really pretty. Cool, cool, cool. That's gorgeous. Keep moving now. Cool, 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 cool. Do that drift because these branches drifting in and out. It's stunning. Cool. Now let's see what we get in. I want to try and get her comfortable next to the tree. So if I get you in here a little bit. Yeah, in about there's not bad. That's quite cool. And that, that gives you something to play with. Yeah, you need to be behind it, not in front of it. That's it. So there, you have no dapple. Yeah, so if you just work behind that branch, you touch rather than in front, that's stunning. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Cool, that's lovely. Cool. That's absolutely beautiful. That's You'll see how softer her face has got. Just leaning against something makes such a big difference, doesn't it? Just to the way you feel, as soon as you lean, it's sort of like a prop. It's more cash, it's more cool, cool. That's really pretty. Stunning, stunning. Now I've got a little bit of dapple on her jumper. I don't care about that. It's the face I'm caring most about. Stunning, stunning. Just, can you sneak back a fraction? Keep going. No, that, straight backwards that way. That's it. Now, yeah, now just work your hands to that tree there. Is that all right? It just that uh, the dapple got a little bit too strong on you. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is a bit nice. This is a lot nice just there. Cool. So I'm just going to frame up in between these branches. We've got no dapple at all. Cool. I've got one on her nose there. If you go that way, I get dapple. So just sort of, even if you come to me a little bit forward, that's good. Oh no, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's, it's that's pretty well. cool. That's pretty cool. This is just becomes a pain and it's so, a single dapple dot can be annoying unless it just sits, that's really pretty. Like when it sits on her cheek there, it's annoying, but when it's there, that's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to work around and hopefully, that's cool. I like that lot. So I'm using the branch to vignette the bottom edge of this shot and just dropping her face in the center of... Apologies that the branches are kind of covering Maddie's face. What, on in your my shot? my camera, yes. That's a, cool, that's really cool. I need to be a ninja. That's cool. Uh, no. a nice branch watch. <laughs> Okay. That's stunning there. That's really pretty. Like neighborhood work. Now I don't know if you know. See how I'm not using any scrims or that. I just like using nature and finding. My, cool. That's really cool. Cool. That's so pretty. I've got this really going out milky behind her. Yeah, hug into that tree a little bit now. Just pretend it's. Nice big American gridiron player. Okay. You shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You got the emotions. Oh, you got the emotions, all right. <laughs> Except I've got a dapple coming. Can you come this side a little bit further? Keep coming, keep coming. Now come back into the tree. Oh, there's nice. There's nice. You can just lean against him now. Instead of hugging him, you can just lean against him. Cool, beautiful. Stunning eyes. Remember every single frame of thought. Cool, cool, cool. That's really pretty. Cool, pretty. So your big American gridiron player is just standing here, looking back at you. <laughs> yeah, but, but <laughs> that's cool. That's. But look at the glow in her eyes now. And that's what I'm after. Sometimes, well, you know yourself. On a shoot, sometimes it's really hard. You start getting stale in the yeah. face. And sometimes the best thing is, is to make the model laugh yeah. because it relaxes all and just releases that glow again. Cool, 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 cool. That's cool. That's really cool. 
This is only the second time we've ever worked together, isn't it? No. Yeah, it feels like we work together a lot, but seriously, this is only the second time we've worked together because she ran away from Australia, but she's come back. Cool. Cool, that's really pretty. It's stunning, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. So the styling for today, you've picked what you wanted to wear, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's just for all the uh, feminist haters that say that I keep putting girls into clothing, whereas you pick your own, don't you? I'm nearly finished. You might go to one more spot. I'm just, there we go. I'm just trying to frame her up in between some leaves. Um, just try putting your ass back against the tree. Just lean back on the tree just so you have a, I just want that more comfortable sort of relaxed feel I don't know how comfortable this it's is. not going to be comfortable is that does that feel comfortable yeah. yeah cool so I just want that more casual guess and killer eyes that's a dreamy just looking that's beautiful 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 that's stunning 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 I've got a branch drifting in and out of the shot which is really pretty because it's putting this gorgeous vignette on the picture that's beautiful, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Drop in those eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, it's just eyes. Remember those shots in the computer? Just eyes. There, cool, cool, cool. Beautiful, beautiful. I think you nailed this. Yeah. Bro. Move on. Move on, do you want to do one more look or head back to studio? Um. Do you want to do a little bit of video? Oh, yeah. You know the videos I showed yeah. you? Do you want to do a little bit of that? Yeah, yeah, what sure. would you like to wear for that? Mm -hmm. I'm only going to shoot your belly button and up and you can sit on the ground and drift or you can lean against a tree and drift. Mm -hmm. You can pick whatever you feel like. Should I cut this? You can cut it, but we still might film a bit of me doing video so they can see how nothing changed. Okay, I might just cut it while Maddie's getting yep. changed. Oh yeah, don't film me. <laughs> So I'm just going to go into and do a little bit of video. So we're going to film about three to five minutes of video, which I'll cut up and put music to a little bit like what you've seen I've done recently with Tanya and Tess. And I'm going to use the same light I've been filming in. I've changed my lenses to 100mm 1.4 because I want to have a really super shallow depth of field. I'm I've put a neutral density filter in here because I'm going to shoot it at 100 frames per second at f1.4 and I can't do that without a variable neutral density filter because it would just be overexposed at those settings um, and that way I can just very just very subtly vary my exposure with that ring as well cool mm -hmm. all right so I'm gonna put it back into video cool Oh, that's really pretty, that's very really pretty. So I'm gonna still talk exactly like I'm filming, uh, like I'm shooting, that's stunning. That's gorgeous, gorgeous. Don't drop back any further backwards. Cool, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Stunning, yeah, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, drift away, then bring back in the eyes, yeah, tease it, and then drop out of it, then come back in and tease it. Cool, cool, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's stunning, that's really pretty, that's really pretty. Cool, cool. This is a really good way, if you're finding a model's a bit stiff, swap into video, make her do this for a little bit, because you'll see how much more she's moving now than she was before. So maybe I should have shot some video a little bit earlier. Because it gives this beautiful free, that's stunning. Cool, cool, cool. And I almost like cut this down to just 30 seconds long, so I don't need a great deal of footage. I just need some really good ins and outs of eyes coming in, and then that drop off, then that little sneak back to check out who's looking at her. Cool, and she checks out. It's at the footballer. He's standing at the bar. Tend you have to be yeah. acting a certain model, and not Coco Rocha. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Or you're playing a part in the movie. It doesn't matter. Whatever you can do to tell that wind's gorgeous, gorgeous. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Stunning. So at the moment, the wind's coming from a really nice direction because it's not really upsetting her much. I'm going to reset. Cool, that's really pretty. 
and see if I can get a nice shot from here with some branches coming across into her face as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Work across this way a little bit, just a touch. Yeah, there, 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 that's stunning, stunning. So we've got no dapple here. This has really opened it up lovely for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool, cool. And every now and then if I feel it needs a little bit of bit touch, I'll pull it out of focus like I am now and just dial it in onto those eyes. Cool, that's really pretty. Stunning, there, 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 stunning, stunning. Dial that, that's, it. that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. That's gorgeous. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Come over here, I might just steal. You did love the shadow right there. So you move this way so your head's in the middle of that shadow. That there, yeah, I think that's it. Cool, that's really pretty. So what I've done again, I'm using all of this sort of brownie green grass to bounce back up into her face. If we had a white wedding dress on her, it might be a problem. We get a bit of a green cast, but I intend to make this black and white anyway, so that doesn't matter. But we're getting, I'm in color at the moment on this and I'm not getting any cast at all on this anyway. Cool, that's really pretty. Just gonna frame it. Cool, that's really cool. Stunning. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Cool. cool, just keep working to it. Thoughts. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool. Cool. It's really pretty, that's really pretty. Beautiful. One more bit, so I've lost what I was trying to do. I wanted to get the wind blowing the hair into her face. Okay. So, no. so maybe if I'm over this way and you get your head in that black dot. I think that's pretty good, yeah? Mm -hmm. And now the wind stops. Of course. <laughs> that's right, we'll see how it goes. So, let's try that black dot. Keep coming, keep coming there. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. I just, yeah, the arms, don't bring the arms up too, too high. Sure. Because we're getting, that's much better for me to me. So I can get some height on you. The wind now stopped. I'm trying to get the wind to blow the hair from back to front because it makes the model move more. Because the hair gets uncomfortable. Sorry. It's a bit of, yeah, just going to have to... Well, I'm going to have to watch the duffel. Cool. And that's really pretty. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. Cool. I wish I could actually take stills while I'm doing this because it's so pretty. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool. That's really cool. Cool. Stunning, 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 stunning. Give me a finish. So maybe a little turn away, then turn back, and then just come back with some really pretty eyes and really enjoy the football player watching you dance around. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Cool, cool, cool. Stunning, stunning. Now yeah, just turn away. Nice, there's a finish. Hopefully we've got something in that light. Bloody hope so. Um, it's not good light on you. I know. Thanks. <laughs> now what I was going to do was just pop this down. So you can finish. Oh. oh. Wanted to say that thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video. Not in the studio, out on location. Reminder that we do have the Melbourne Five Day. We've also got Portfolio Builder for Melbourne. Right, now I've got my exposure right. Oh. 
No, keep going. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you better had to start again. We well, can if you want, but you can. No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, links to workshops and inspires below. Sorry, I have itchy. I think I'm allergic to something. Allergic to nature. Yeah, I think so. I don't really leave the house much. Is your wire tucked in? Yeah, <laughs> I think. I hope. I completely blown you there. Yes. I? <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning back in. We hope you enjoyed today's episode not in the studio out on location showing how peter shoots in the middle of the day with full sun no reflectors no, no reflectors no um not an assistant not an assistant sorry peter keeps interrupting me it's making me lose my train of thought your one train of thought <laughs> my one my one brain so <gasps> any comments or questions please leave them below as well and thanks See you guys soon. I forgot to add that I will also leave links to Maddie and Brent's Instagrams down below in the description as well so you guys can follow them and check them out. That's all I wanted to add. And that's Maddie. <laughs> and that's Brent. Mm -hmm.